What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Ahsoka series, but before we do get into all of that, remember, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know on everything Star Wars. Don't forget, I have a membership program that I just did an update to, so make sure to join one of them as the tiers are simply amazing and I've updated them, so definitely go check them out so you get to get behind the scene footage and go live with me on my daily content. Go check out the merch store as I do have Eternal Sith merch that you definitely want to go check out. And as always, once you're done watching this video, go check out my last one give it a thumbs up as you watch let's start the show welcome to the show with the eternal self every visit banger best believe he don't mess do me a favor drop us up and keep tuning in if you like what you see go and share with your friends now when it comes to the ahsoka series we know that we're going to be getting thrawn and others but there is a time in history that we could potentially see a flashback on and this is of when Anakin and Thrawn actually meet for face to face for the first time and it happens in Timothy Zahn's Thrawn alliances. Now the encounter marks the first time a Republic official came into contact with Thrawn as well as the Chiz as an entity. Now working on separate missions, though neither are technically sanctioned by their higher ups, Thrawn and Anakin meet in space near Batu. Now Anakin is searching for his wife Padme and with whom he and the Republic had lost connection with. Thrawn, it would eventually be revealed, was seeking allies for a coming conflict teaching a young Skywalker, a force sensitive navigator, how to fly in the meantime. Now though Thrawn didn't understand basic, you know, he communicated with Anakin through the trade language Mies Kalf, Anakin agreed to explain the nature of the Clone Wars and Republic in return for Thrawn's aid in locating Padme. Now the duo would eventually succeed on the planet Mokive and as they went their separate ways, Thrawn indicated his respect for Anakin as a warrior returning to the Chiz Ascendancy with information on the Republic. This encounter would set up the next chapter in Thrawn's life where he chooses to join the Empire. Now Darth Vader's true identity was perhaps the Empire's biggest secret. A few who were close to him were able to piece together who the man behind the mask was, drawing connections between Anakin Skywalker's personality and tactics and linking them to his sudden disappearance. Thrawn was among those people recognizing the truth of Vader's identity early in Thrawn alliances. Now Palpatine instructed the duo to investigate a disturbance in the force sending them back to Batu, where they first met. Now during their time together Thrawn did tease subly Vader about being Anakin stating on multiple occasions that they had both met or been to the world before. Now Vader naturally rejected any such notion, insisting that Anakin Skywalker was dead. Thrawn's instinct was to vaguely call the Sith Lord's bluff, responding to Skywalker's demise with, so I have been told. The pair eventually established a good working collaboration, though Vader continued to question Thrawn's loyalty to the Empire, Grand Admiral Thrawn came to accept Anakin was indeed gone, recognizing that Darth Vader is in fact the face of the Empire and Anakin is no longer as I stated before. But comment down below guys, is this something you would want to see in a potential flashback of seeing these two meeting for the first time but during the Clone Wars? I know this is something I would want to see maybe at some point during the whole Mandalorian era and not just the Ahsoka series, maybe Thrawn can have a flashback of when he first met the young Skywalker before he was the man behind the mask. For more Star Wars content, hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know as I'll have more content out tomorrow. Don't forget, I have a membership program. Definitely you want to join. There's three tiers. I just updated them and I will be going live behind the scenes. So make sure to join the membership program so you could check on the community post for members only, the live stream link for that. And I will be talking about everything Star Wars in more in depth details. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Don't forget the Eternal Sith. Then, now. Now, forever. Later, guys.